This video presents some ideas and trends found in the literature and research communities about defining authorship to make publishing journal articles a more straightforward experience for investigators and co-authors. The topics reviewed should assist those involved in research, find resources, and to better understand obligations when disseminating knowledge through the formal publication process. The concept of authorship sounds straightforward, but over the last few decades it has generated ambiguity. Efforts have been made to standardize authorship criteria. Three general topics will be highlighted in this brief presentation. We will first explore the authorship criteria outlined by a few journals popular with the College of Computing and Informatics and examine criteria listed by a charity dedicated to help with the publishing process. Then suggestions about assigning sequence in multi-author articles will be considered. Finally, we will review the initiative that encourages contributorship terminology that classifies research contributions as different roles so authors can be included in meaningful ways. These concepts are important for the university because they affect how to measure academic success. Resources on these topics are found on the Computing and Informatics Research Guide currently under the Scientific Integrity and Publishing Standards tab. In an effort to ensure transparency and responsibility, most journals develop criteria over the years to determine what constitutes authorship. It is recommended to review authorship criteria in the well-known computing sciences journals for any updates and become familiar with criteria in new journals. The Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEEE, requires its authors to make a significant intellectual contribution, have drafted or revised the manuscript, and approve the final version. This last point can be complex. Approving a final version could be difficult when teams are composed of those speaking different languages or the technical expertise varies, which is the reason collaboration is necessary. Note that all of the three criteria must be met to be an author. If not, individuals should be mentioned in the acknowledgement section. Additionally, omitting authors may be considered a breach of publishing ethics. Steps to prevent such concerns will be addressed in subsequent slides. The Association of Computing Machinery, or ACM, journals specify criteria that are slightly different from IEEE in that all authors must be aware of the submitted publication and agree to be accountable for all content. The ACM publisher also suggests that those who are not authors be given credit with clearly stated standardized rules. This taxonomy will be visited later in the presentation. Other journals used by the computing sciences and informatics community include the Bulletin of the World Health Organization, Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA, New England Journal of Medicine, or NEJM, and the Public Library of Science, or PLOS. These journals adhere to the International Committee of Medical Journal Editors Guidelines for Authorship. Being the idea person or head of a laboratory only does not meet criteria for authorship. All four of these listed criteria are required for authorship. Some journals take authorship a step further with accountability, but accountability is harder to achieve as specialization in science increases. It raises the question of what does it mean to be accountable. Also, the term accountability could prevent younger scientists working with the principal investigator from meeting that definition of an author. Where can an author find advice and guidance on best practices to manage ethical issues in journal publishing? The Committee on Publication Ethics, or COPE, is a charitable company established to provide services and products aimed primarily at editors and publishers of scholarly journals. 
This includes helpful case reports and tips that authors can use as well. On the website, there is guidance about ghost authorship, the practice of not crediting those who wrote or contributed to the article. Sometimes this is done to conceal the funding body or company behind the research. Ghost collaborator. This is someone who is not credited for a significant contribution and is also unaware the paper is being written. An example is a professional writer's role not being acknowledged. A good article on this topic is in the journal entitled Accountability in Research. Honorary or guest authorship, which is sometimes granted to those who obtained money or serve as head of an academic unit or laboratory, but did not contribute directly to research or writing. Sometimes this is due to collegial or social dynamics. The addition of others as authors may occur if someone asserts their right to authorship. The withdrawal of an author name. Authors may be deleted from the author list if their content is not included or for other reasons. Negotiations should take place ahead of time with co-authors about what happens if someone's section is cut by a lead author or journal editor. Will that co-author be mentioned in the acknowledgement section, or will they be given another section to write? Additionally, a withdrawal request may come from an author because an author's reputation can be damaged if their name appears in a paper they don't support. COPE also provides information regarding stolen content, retracted articles, and disputes over content or data interpretation. All of these scenarios may be affected by promotion and tenure policies, including the number of publications needed for advancement versus the amount of contribution within a paper, the concept of honorary or ghost authorship due to status in an organization, and where disputes should be resolved in the laboratory or at the departmental or college level. Rarely will a campus research office or journal editor resolve internal disputes unless there is a breach of research ethics that would affect the campus or publication. However, the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, or PNAS, follows the recommended procedures from the Committee on Publication Ethics, or COPE, for handling allegations of misconduct. It may be helpful to review these concerns at the beginning of a new project so all co-authors can agree on how to proceed. Co-author sequence can often lead to conflict between co-authors and within laboratories. Additionally, do promotion and tenure committees have a policy regarding authorship order? Are first and second author status preferentially weighted? In the literature, there are various approaches to assigning author sequence, though these may be dictated by discipline or journal. Approaches include shared first authorship, credit based on the fraction of total work performed, equal contribution, or an alphabetical listing, though authors with surnames late in the alphabet avoid this approach. First and last author emphasis, where key researchers are listed at the beginning and the end, but other co-authors are listed alphabetically by institution. Group name only, or if it is a government project, there may be a policy that dictates author order. An advanced agreement will ensure all co-authors are aware of expectations before the grant, project, or writing begins. Mega science projects often require quadruple digit author lists because large teams are needed to tackle the great volume of research data. The article on the left is a genomics paper with many students who did the bench work listed as co-authors. The paper on the right is a physics paper. It is mentioned because it has the largest number of co-authors of any article published to date. 
when considering the effect of these projects on a professional career, will a faculty member up for promotion or tenure receive credit for being an author among hundreds or thousands of co-authors on a paper? For decades, most authors have been accustomed to signing agreements with journal publishers denoting approval, authority, and inclusion of all individuals with bylines. What is recommended by the Committee on Publication Ethics is for journals to also require authors to sign agreements about author order and roles of all contributors. COPE also recommends that laboratories have agreements for those who are listed in the acknowledgement section verifying that they endorse the work. As mentioned before, advance agreements can help in these situations, but some lead authors are reluctant to be limited in the ability to make executive decisions. It is hard to predict how others will work when conducting research or writing sections of the manuscript. However, it is also suggested for changes in authorship to be decided between all co-authors. Some journals require that contributions be described so that those reading the article will know the role of each author. This is an example from the journal The Lancet in which the authors described their roles. Also, collaborators are listed, which allows people who made contributions to be recognized, especially if contributions fell between acknowledgement and author status. Free text contribution statements discourage individuals from declaring themselves as authors if their roles do not meet authorship criteria. This also helps to ensure no one is included without their consent. The role of the funding source should also be described. This may prevent situations in which a company hires a research team to write up findings and if the executives do not concur, the executives write their own paper with results contrary to what the research team discovered. Also, a company might hire a team to do the research, but then hire an academician as a ghostwriter. A classification system of contributor roles is described by the CASRE Nonprofit Initiative. This is an acronym for Consortia Advancing Standards in Research Administration Information. For research articles, the journal Science requires a list of author contributions and encourages them to use the Credit or Contributor Roles Taxonomy format. This snippet is from the top of the table from the Credit webpage. As mentioned earlier, the Association of Computing Machinery states that contributors in the acknowledgement section have explicitly described roles, preferably using credit 